Hey y'all, it's Joanne and I'm back with another prophetic word. Now this one is very serious and very urgent. It's gonna ruffle a couple of feathers, but I'm just here being obedient. So the title of this message is called Beyonce's Fall from Grace. Now I got a prophetic dream from the Lord on December 27th of 2023. So I've been sitting on this for a while, but like the Lord told me, Joanne, you need to speak, you need to release this. So I'm doing it now guys out of obedience, but I received a prophetic dream and vision from the Lord on December December 27th of 2023. Now in this dream, and I was kind of in a church, it kind of looked like a church, right? And everybody was dressed in white. Everyone was dressed in all white, including me, right? So there was a line of two people. So imagine a line of two people. And it's like we had a headmaster, we had somebody telling us what to do, right? And there was another girl that I knew I was familiar with. So I walked up to her and she had a book, she had a book in her lap. And I walked up to her and I said, what's going on? Like what's happening? She's like, Oh, we're preparing our bodies to go to heaven through the ephoth. So yeah, in the dream she said ephoth, I didn't really know what that was. So I was just like, okay, whatever. So we're all dressed in white. And then I heard her say, you know, we're preparing to go to heaven. So I thought it was a good thing. So I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So then the headmaster starts going through the two lines, telling people to put a turban on your head. So she was like, everyone put a turban on your head. It was, it was because we're preparing our bodies to go to heaven through the ephah. So I, it was just a very confusing vision, right? So I woke up from that, other things happened, but it wasn't that important. So I woke up from that and I was like, okay, what is this? Now, before I woke up, the word ephah, literally it was like illuminated and it was just the whole word was just illuminated in my mind. Like before I woke up, I just saw ephah flash in my mind, like a vision. So I woke up and I just knew God wanted me to investigate what ephah was. So I woke up that morning and I went to go look up ephah in the Bible. Now, if you look up ephah, it's said throughout multiple times in the Bible, but the only place where it had, where it had like real significance was in the book of Zechariah. So I went to go read um, Zechariah chapter five, and this is where Zechariah is seeing a vision and the angel is there helping him interpret the vision, right? So he's looking at this vision and it's a really long scroll. There's a really long scroll in the sky and Zechariah is like, what is this to the angel? And the angel tells him, this is a curse that is on the whole land. So yeah, the scroll was actually a curse, right? So let's go to Zechariah chapter five, verse four. And it says here, the Lord Almighty declares, I will send it out and it will enter the house of the thief and the house of anyone who swears falsely by my name. It will remain in that house and destroy it completely, both its timbers and its stones. So you know what was crazy, guys? I don't know if you guys even knew this, but Christmas Day, Beyonce's childhood home in Houston caught on fire. Her house caught on fire Christmas Day, Beyonce's childhood home, right? And on the 26th, I found that out. And then the 27th, I woke up with this vision, right? So the God is saying that the house of those that um, are thieves and that swear falsely by his name is going to be destroyed. So guys, this is confirmation. It's not a coincidence that her house caught on fire. God leads me through the vision to Zechariah chapter 5. And he's telling me here that he's sending out a curse on those that are thieves and those that swear falsely by his name. Now we all know, and I know you Beyonce fans are going to come for me, but we all know that she's a false Christian. She likes to act like she's Christian, but she's actually a witch. Like we, if you don't believe that she's a witch, then I just know you don't have the Holy Spirit. Beyonce is a witch, right? And we all know this. She literally says that she said in one of her lemonade videos that she put her menstrual blood on the, on the pages of the Bible. You gotta say, so she does witchcraft and we all know this. God has also revealed to me that Beyonce is a witch through a dream and vision that I got in September of 2023. I was basically standing over an arena and it was the Renaissance tour. So I was standing over the arena, looking at the crowd and looking at, you know, the whole concert. And literally Beyonce was performing, right? She was doing a ritual. She was performing at the Renaissance concert. And the whole crowd, the whole crowd was in a trance. The whole crowd was under witchcraft. So Beyonce is a witch. And if you went to the Renaissance concert, you are under a spell. She literally did witchcraft over you guys. And I know this sounds crazy. I know people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. If you have the Holy Spirit, you know what I'm talking about. Beyonce is a witch. And at this Renaissance concert, she was performing witchcraft on you guys. Why do you think you guys are like, it was so good. Yes, she's talented. Yes, she's a good, you know, a good performer. But I'm telling you right now, the fact that people traveled to eight different states, went to see the concert in person like five times, then y'all still went to go see the movie in person. You Like, is that normal? No, guys, she did. She literally did a spell over you guys to keep her in her trance. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, 
God gave me this revelation. Now, let's keep reading in Zechariah chapter 5. Basically, next thing you know, a basket is coming down from the sky. Now, why does this matter, guys? Because an ephah is a basket. So remember, I woke up from the vision, and ephah flashed in my mind. And then the girl that you know I was talking to in the dream also said, we're preparing our bodies for heaven through the ephah. If you go look up what an ephoth is, it's a bread basket. It's a basket, guys. So now a basket is coming from the sky, guys. And let's go to verse 7. It says here, Then the cover of lead was raised, and there in the basket sat a woman. And then the angel said, This is wickedness. And he pushed her back into the basket and pushed the lead cover down on it. Now, if you guys go down to verse 9, it, said, it says here, Then I looked up, and there before me were two women with the wind in their wings. They had wings like a stork and they lifted up the basket between heaven and earth. Guys, this is why God led me to Zechariah chapter five because it lines up with my vision. And if you read in verse 11, it says here that um, Zechariah asked, where are we taking the basket or where are they taking the basket? The angel said to the country of Babylon to build a house for it. Everybody knows if you're in the spirit, America is the modern day Babylon, right? So there are so many idolaters, people that idolize Beyonce in America, right? And this is what it is, guys. Everybody that went to that Renaissance concert, be prepared. You're about to be sacrificed in some type of way. I don't know how, guys, but Beyonce did witchcraft over you guys at the Renaissance tour. Okay, guys, and how do I know that this vision was really about Beyonce besides the woman in the basket? Let's go to Zechariah chapter 9. Let's read verses 3 through 4. This is what God revealed to me. So it says here, Tyre has built herself a stronghold. She has heaped up silver like dust and gold like the dirt of the streets. But the Lord will take away her possessions and destroy her power on the sea. She will be consumed by fire. Guys, her house caught on fire. On Christmas Day, God is saying she's going to be consumed by fire. And then it says, powers of the sea. We already know Beyonce worships Orisha or Orisha, that goddess of the sea. You know what I'm saying? So this is confirmation, guys. And it also says she heaped up silver. So every one of you guys that wore silver to the Renaissance concert, you are now in covenant with Beyonce. If you paid to go to that concert, if you paid for the movie and you wore silver and all that stuff, you pledged your allegiance to Beyonce. And now you're in covenant with her. And God is sending divine judgment onto the land, guys. Divine judgment. I prophesied this the other day. But Beyonce is going to be one of those people judged. If you do not repent for coming into agreement with Beyonce, going to the concert, wearing silver, giving her money, all of these things. If you do not repent, guys, the same judgment that God is going to bring to Beyonce by consuming her by fire and taking away her possessions and, you know, bringing her down, basically. If you do not come out of agreement with Beyonce, guys. The same judgment is coming for you. So this is a prophetic warning. Everybody that went to the Renaissance tour, everybody that's a fan idolizing Beyonce, all of these things, you guys need to repent because the judgment that God is bringing Beyonce is coming very soon and her grace is over. Her grace is up. That's what God wants me to tell you. Beyonce's time is up. She had time to repent and she has it. And everyone that follows her is also going to fall with her.